Mike, before we start, I have to inquire about the, your new computer screen. It looks more like a TV to me. Okay, okay. Um, well, well, I have to premise this with a lot of things. Um, because it is a 32-inch TV. You're a bogan. Okay, 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 hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Okay, um, you can't get larger than a 24-inch computer screen. There is a reason. Why, Taste. What, what, why is that? Why, what is the reason for that? Taste. Taste? <laughs> this is this is tasteless, Mike. The <laughs> screen is way too big for your small workstation that just so happens to be part of your bedroom. Wait, wait. Hear me out. Have you have you eaten a TV before? Have you eaten a TV before? I a TV's even edible. Yeah, yeah. Our TV's even edible. So don't talk to me about taste until you have chomped a few LEDs. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Okay. Um, it, it is often said that when when people do their own layout, yes, um, they want to have three screens. Right. Right. And yet, you're saying that two is in poor taste. I'm not saying two screens is in poor taste. I'm saying that having a huge screen is in poor taste. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, I um, brought this on a Sunday afternoon at your local Noel Eming. Yeah. Um, it was $299 for the TV. Did you feel suicidal afterwards? No. no. Okay, so you're not a Lemmings. Good. Y- yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a Lemmings, okay? I'm not a Lemmings. No. <laughs> okay. Um, and the other reason why I brought it is because if you look on my laptop... The, the, uh, the, there is a hinge breakage in it. Yes. Um, and um, it's a little t- unhinged, but like its owner. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sophie. A- a- and the cost to replace that part is more expensive than the TV I brought. Okay. So this is sort of like um, insuring myself for any later possibilities. I see. So more than likely, when that's break, when that's broken, when the hinge is broken, the screen will be taken off and used as a PC. Okay, so that means you don't really have a laptop anymore. You have to use a tablet then. Yes. Okay. Yes, and I will be buying a keyboard for that. Yeah. Later on, because I broke the other one. My. <sighs> yeah, I know. Oh man. But a, a simple USB keyboard will, will suffice. Anyway, this has this is the As Yet Undecided podcast featuring your conflicted hosts, Mike and Sophie. Oh, how are you, Sophie? Ah, oh, it's... Well, I feel it's a bit weird. Stressed. Why stressed? Exams. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you can put the laptop on top of the thing now because you wouldn't need it for a while. Why not? Oh, well, if, if, you, if you want that warm laptop on your lap... That's fine. Me. Okay. Um. Uh, probably a good idea. You're right. Yes. Um. So, <laughs> but I've also recently donated blood. Yes. My arm is still sore from that. Yes. A little um, bit, but not as sore. Now, now talk to me about the last time that you gave blood. Because I remember, I was there. Yeah. I was freaking out. It was August. And I have this perpetual fear of needles. I can't. I don't know what it is called, but there's surely a fancy name for it. Anyway, I was blubbering inelegantly, and Mike had to calm me down by talking about his dog, or well, his family dog, Foxy, wasn't it? Yes. It was a fox terrier. Yeah. I remember that. Because I've donated blood numerous amount of times. Yeah. Um, Mike's a veteran. I wouldn't get that far. Yes, you are a veteran, Mike. <laughs> Could be to you, yeah. So last, so last year I could only donate half a bag, but this time I've managed to uh, unlock an achievement. Yes, yeah. It, yeah. As soon as you filled up that bag, yeah. Um, a or oh. a notification came up. Yeah. Um, on my peripheral vision, achievement unlocked. Yeah. Donate a full blood blood of bag. Yeah. Hundred XP. Le- leveled up your generosity meter. <laughs> yeah, leveled up your generosity. Yeah. <laughs> got, got that 100 XP on your generosity meter. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And she she will achieve 
is she will go up to level 5 of generosity the next time she goes to Liz Knox. No, I won't. I'll take a little bit more than that. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure, because I'm not sure what your XP growth on generosity is at the moment. I don't know either. I forgot <laughs> to check. Okay. Just, just make sure when you go back, can you go to Sophie Doc? Actually, WorldDatabase.com. Yeah. Search your name for your stats, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you got your, so over here you have your generosity meter, your cinometer, um, what else? Your um, mana ometer, your poshometer. <laughs> your poshometer. <laughs> yeah, and other ometers. <laughs> I'm sure that your posh meter is um, halfway to getting maxed out. Halfway to getting maxed out. Who has the most maxed out poshometer, do you think? Oh, I think the Jenners are up there. Yeah? Maximum po- maximum poshness? Yeah. Or are they too bogan to be posh? Okay. Maybe well, they're too bogan to be, you know, completely posh. Yeah. Maybe the Queen, or is she too elegant? No, 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 no. She's still on Windows 98, so um, the meter won't... So her, she hasn't updated her meter recently. Yeah. So maybe uh, Duchess of Cambridge. Well, maybe yeah, because the because the Queen doesn't have the appropriate DLC pack for increased stats. True, but then <laughs> you, but I've heard that the Queen is actually re- is actually really quite tech savvy. More, yeah, 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 more than yeah. what you would expect. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but I'm talking about the Queen here. Yes, but uh, oh well, yeah. Kate, maybe Kate Middleton's the most posh. Yeah, uh, but, but I've I've seen this joke. Mm? Um, for quite a while, and, and, and I like this joke. Um, I I think around about I think it's next week. Yes. I think. Um, the Blu-ray DVD of the 2016 Queen's Christmas message. Um, is, continue speaking. I need to grab my USB. I need to charge my phone. Okay. Is 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 going to be released with um 300 hours of never before seen footage. Yeah. <laughs> Continue. Um, you have to explain 300 hours. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I'll talk about a few other things that um, I want to bring up. Oh, that's right. You have an iPhone, don't you? So we can charge the two phones at the same time. Uh, do you really? Didn't you know? Uh, this, this has got a mini USB and... A lightning cable. Yeah, at but at the same time, so that means we can, you know, like best buddies, phone buddies, phone buddies, phone buddies, best buddies and phone buddies, phone buddies. Yes. Okay. Um. Oh come on, just go in. Just go in. Just go in. Just go in. There we go. It's charging. Two phones. Two phones charging. Yay. Okay. Uh, Mira. Your your bed's hard. Oh. I'm taking more spring to it. Oh, thanks, thanks. I managed, to, I managed to slam through to the bread frame, for goodness sakes. Oh, just, just like my, just my, just like my lack of personality, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. What? Sound effects time. <laughs> <laughs> so how was your week, Mike? Oh, uh, week, week has been okay. Um, it's been a bit crazy. Um, I brought this bread, oh, okay, I watch time. Um, I brought... Um, I, I I think the the the, spo- the current sponsorship for Boston Advance ha- has got to me a little bit. Yeah. Because I've I've brought two bottles of the conditioning solution, um, and it has been working. How oh, good! Finally. Um, finally, um, and and thinking about how um, my process about how how everything got to be, it actually makes a lot of sense. Because of the um, irritation of the contact. Yeah. And I was going through the process of it. It's like, could it be um, irritation due to allergic reaction? Hence the reason I was using an antihistamine eye drop. Was it due to the um, contact issue? Hence the reason I brought a hydrating, hydrating eye drop to counteract that. But it actually was it was a combination of the hydrating eye drop and the saline solution. Wow. So, um, the conditioning formula is sort of like a good in-between. Oh, good. Mm. Which is a lot to get in, into 30 seconds of talking. <laughs> um, but th- 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 there's a few other things that I want to bring up before we get into our topics of the week. Yeah? Did you watch the sea lion incident? No. No? 
you might want to look that up. Sea lion incident. Yes. Go into YouTube. And if you don't know, um, in British Columbia, um, they have warning signs saying, do not feed the sea lions. And this family ignored that and was teasing the sea lion. And it ended up being that the sea lion dragged the woman into the ocean. Yeah. And the grandfather jumped in. Yeah. And I thought it was absolutely hilarious and how stupid the family was in teasing the sea lion, hoping for that not to happen. I'm like, oh, come on, Murphy's Law here, or any sort of logical sense. Darwin's Award? Darwin's Award. Darwin's Award 2017 for yes. this person. Did you watch? Yeah. No, I'm not going to watch it just yet. Okay. So who? So who died? No one died. Okay. Who's right? Because the Darwin Award is only really for people who remove themselves from the genetic gene pool. I know, but it, but it would have to be the current Darwin Award winner. No, because they haven't removed themselves from the gene pool. But they, but um, they will be picked on for the rest of their lives due to that. Yeah. They do have an offshoot Darwin did well the same organization that organizes the Darwin Award. They do have an offshoot award for people who did extremely stupid things but somehow are still part of the gene pool. Yeah. So this will be the winner. This will be the winner. Yeah. Yeah. Um and I I, I actually talked to another person about this cuz cuz I was thinking about wordplay. Yeah. Multiple words that have words that have multiple meanings. Yeah. And well, both the masters of that. Yes. And I was thinking about it, and I thought, okay, you you, you know this monthly cycle that um, she man have, right? What? Periods. Yes. Yeah. Why is it at the end of a period? It's a whole new sentence. Why is it at the end of the period? Yes. You have a whole new sentence. Yes. That only works in America. Why is that? I don't know. Or, or you can say that at the end of the sentence there is always a period. True. Or, or as I like to call it a full stop. Yeah, yes, there's a full stop here. <laughs> Take notes, Americans. Or, or if if you were in the uh, classroom cycle, that you would have multiple periods every day. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, a period of time. Ooh. Um, and I have a pre- presentation on Tuesday. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. Good luck. I oh, know, right? Talking about... Um, city versus rural. Oh, Controversial. And self-comparison. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So which is good. We are going to be comparing in two different, uh, in three different constructs. Wow. I'm talking about the New Zealand context or any sort of um, westernised context between city and rural, and the other ones are talking about um, ethnicities. Okay. And, and where they are living according to the spectrum. So, like Asians that mainly live in, mainly live in the cities. Oh no! But, but I, I was. Oh, no, not really. Um. Talking about, you know, Samoans that moved to New Zealand. Yeah. From Samoa. Yeah. And the difference between the Samoans that live in Samoa, which is generally in a rural in a rural standpoint, and the Samoans that live in the city. From an urban standpoint. Yeah. Okay. And, and the comparisons that are made between those two. Um, and it's not me that will be speaking on that, but one of the team members will be. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Who's recording it? Um, no one is recording it. Ah. Of course no one is recording it. I thought they have to record it for special consideration. No. Okay. No. Um, some of them do and some of them don't. Ah, so you're not going to record it? No. So that's your week in general? Yeah, week in general. And, and, um, but so, so what do you think of the tidiness of my room? Because I have... It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat? Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. So I've yeah. been stereotypically um, 
cleaning this room like crazy. Really? So uh, so there is hardly any mess. Yeah, that's, it's pretty sweet, actually. Muesli bars, um, porridge, protein powders, lots of eggs. Lots of eggs? Lots of eggs. 36 eggs. Uh, down to 29 at the moment. Oh, yeah. Um, I had six, and then I had an incident with one. What happened? Um, accidentally dropped it. Oh, goodness. No, at least, at least you know how the egg feels, you know? Yeah. You've been, fa- you've been failed your whole life like that egg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, of course, brings to the first topic of the week. Yes. <laughs> so... How similar do you think people's experiences have to be before they can actually um, sympathise properly with the other person? Like you with that egg. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, um, in in my personal opinion, um, you you either have to, oh, oh, someone's getting cosy here. I'm going to, this is the gangster one. Oh, great. Someone's trying to go to sleep on me. No. <laughs> because, because, because I'm talking now. Um, you either have to share a similar experience or yeah. do some research on it to try and comprehend what the other person is thinking. You mean you can hack empathy? I wouldn't say hack. Oh, actually, yeah. I would think hack empathy. You can hack empathy by researching. Yeah. And that can actually somehow make you feel empathy for the other person. Like, I know how you feel, mate. Yeah, yeah, but l- l- like, for instance, um, I forgot what it's called, but there's a, um, a scale for trauma. Yeah. And it goes from zero to 100. Yeah. And the biggest one is um, your partner dying. Or, or, or yeah, your spouse or child dying is number one. Oh, yeah? And, there's a, and there is a log- logarithmic scale going down. Wow. So what you do is that if a person has the highest... Yes. ...and you haven't experienced it, mm. you, you can sort of see from the list how you compare and sort of hack the increased empathy towards that person. Is that how can we, we can actually put empathy into robots then? If we can make a scale and things like that? Well, yeah. And, and, okay. that, and that's probably why the Turing test is such a, a big statute right now. Okay. So if you have a successful Turing test, then you can sort of manipulate it. True. Towards your whim. So let's say that we decide to go through the long and hard route of gaining empathy through experience. How similar must experiences be? It has to be pretty close. Like? Like, for instance, um, some, there has to be the same sort of category. Okay, so, the, so I can emphasize having bad father because both of us had bad fathers. Yes. But I can't really emphasise on having a poor family because I was never part of a poor family. Yeah, exactly. Because you've never had the experience of it. And that's the reason why um, people say that I have a lot of friends. Yeah. Because I see the association towards any sort of subject and emphasise it to increase the friendship. True. Does that make more sense? Yeah, you've you've got great great empathy here. Yeah. yeah. I don't. Yeah, it, it, either sort of empathy through similarity. Yeah, that's probably one of my biggest weaknesses is my probably my lack of empathy. Yeah. Or is it too much empathy? Cut side sometimes. Um. Well, you probably have both. Both. In in, in different constructs. Yeah. It's well put it this way. I've got autism, right? And I haven't had a lot of personal experiences. So, I know how you feel, but I'll, but I'll have no idea why. Put it yeah. this way. Yeah, like, for instance, I can't relate to you on the autism spectrum. Yeah. Because I have no idea what it is. You can tell yeah. me, and I can do as much research as I can on it, so it'll make a understanding. Yeah. But I know that it won't be a, a 
won't be a complete understanding. Won't be a perfect understanding. Yeah, because exactly. you don't have the, you don't feel things the same way as I do. Yeah. Whereas for me, my empathy is like this. I know I know that you're sad, but I can't work out why you're sad. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly. This can be very frustrating sometimes uh, uh, because uh, when when people are sad, I want to cheer them up. I have but I have no idea whether a how to or b whether it's appropriate to. Yeah, exactly. Um, in regards to me, it, it's all about trying. Uh, I know this is very technical. Yeah. Um, it's sort of trying you could because you have the issue. Yeah. Right? And, and I try to neutralize it or try and find the derivative of it yeah. as much as I can. Mm. So therefore, if you find the derivative and try your best to eliminate it, it'll go upwards. Yeah. I try and do the same thing as well. The thing is, I have a compulsion to do it because if you feel sad, I'll feel sad. Yeah. That's that's what that's what I mean by too much empathy and not enough empathy at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Which is weird. It's, it's a very, very strange situation to be in. Yeah. And lo- like we were discussing before the podcast, the, the, I, I know what the derivative is. Yes. And I can't control it. I don't know what the derivative is. That's, <laughs> that's my problem. Yeah. That's, which, is why I have to, which is why I have to just have to remember to ask, why are you feeling sad? Yeah. I have to ask the why. And even then, that doesn't often help because the person might not know why they're feeling sad. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, well either that or they... They refuse to say. Be because they would feel ashamed. Yeah. Um, be, because that sort of telling someone, it would be like a double-edged sword. True. They could use it against you as well. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and I know that with people like you and, and a few of our other friends that we do have, yeah. Um, I try and be as honest as I can with them. Yes. Um, I'm very big on transparency, and I, and I know that I probably don't be as open as I should. Mm. But that's usually due to my own sanity. Yeah. Because <laughs> I I don't want to tell everyone everything. I just want to tell everyone what is necessary. The salience points. Yeah. Yeah. Thing is, I, t- I speak out every single thought, every single feeling. It's just, it drives people insane as well because, well, I'm inviting, I'm literally inviting people to my madness. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's just like, I, I don't, yeah. even, even though I read a conversation, yeah. Um, I don't usually um, talk about it or speak about it because it's a, it's a non issue. A non issue. Yeah. It's like, um, for instance, why are we having a conversation about a stapler? Uh, let's see. Well, <laughs> we're not going to. That's confidential, mate. Yeah, I know. That's confidential. Uh, I know, but you, <laughs> but, don't, but you understand what I mean. Yeah, um, some things are really are non-issues. Yeah. Yeah. But um, what? When can you tell when a non-issue is actually a non-issue? Because sometimes non-issues become huge issues. Like what happened to me recently, which I shall not talk about because that's confidential yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, it's it, it, it sort of... Oh. I've been told to keep more secrets. Yeah. Which is like the complete opposite of what most people say to other people. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I can understand that. <laughs> um, well, well, it's a lot to discretion. True. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's sort of tricky that way because, it's, you know, you want to tell everybody. Yeah, I don't keep my... I, as it turns out, I don't personally have any secrets. But what I end up doing is keeping other people's secrets. Yeah. Which is freaking me out sometimes. Like, ah. Uh, and then, I beg the question, mm? um, why? What do you mean? Why do you want to keep everyone's secrets? Did because you, did... it's not for me to say. They, and they ask me not to tell anyone, and I can't go back on a promise. Yeah. And, and then, I, I beg the question, why... why... Can you just be oblivious to it? Just just completely ignore it from your mind. Because, well, that's my method, actually. But from time to time, I think about the secrets I do keep. Yeah. And it freaks me out. Because, because I, I just realised how much power I have over some people. Uh, oh, because, because what I do is that people say, oh, please don't tell, tell anybody. I, I just completely ignore it. I don't. Uh, I can't. Yeah, because, like, I, I just don't bring it up. True. <laughs> I guess we all have different ways of um, keeping secrets, I suppose. 
Yeah, and, and and for people like me, I'm generally the last person to know about everything. I thought you're the first person to know about everything. <laughs> you know a lot about what's happening over at AUT and things like that. Uh, so. it, well, it's it's because that I've be, been around. Um, awesome. Yeah, and a whole bunch of different AUT organizations, so I know how they work. Yeah. Um, and I know about their um, advantages and shortcomings. True. Um, or, or, or as people like to call it, a SWOT analysis. Mm-hmm. So, so sort of like a... Um, Strength, weakness, opportunities, and what's T? Threats. Threats. Yeah. Of, of that particular organisation. Um, I'm not going to exploit it. But no. l- l- like you sort of have an understanding of it, so you try and use it to get the maximum... Mexico. utility out of yeah it. true i've noticed with a lot of information you and some situations there's actually three um there's actually three actions you can take most people usually only know about expect accept or reject yeah but hardly anyone ever exploits yeah accept reject or exploit so, so for example with sexism you can either accept it saying that oh this is just the way it is reject it saying that sexism is bad or exploit it using using every single stereotype to advantage yeah. and to make people and to manipulate people that way. Yeah. Um, m- m- maybe it's just me, but I don't tend to manipulate. Mm. Um, usually I just tell the person who who is directly involved with it and was like, hey, here here is a potential problem with your issue. Yeah. Could you resolve it? Yeah, don't be a dick. Yeah, 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 don't be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I sometimes wonder if I'm exploited of them or not sometimes, you know? Uh, I would say no. No? The, the, uh, well, well, let me rephrase it. There is a lot of people that I know that are more exploitive than you. Okay, so maybe I'm slightly exploitative, but not more exploitative than your average person. Yeah, but l- l- like, you, you sort of like non-overly manipulating it. Ah. Uh. So I'm more like a velvet hand. Yeah. Over maybe like a velvet glove. Maybe I have a, maybe I have a very soft velvety glove. It, 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 it's it's sort of like, um, it, if you get the flop in a po- in a poker game. Yeah. There is a jack on the table, and you have two jacks. What's a jack? What's a flop? Uh, okay. What's poker? Okay. 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 Stop. 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 I do know what poker is, but you have to explain what a flop in the jack is. Okay. A flop is the first three cards when you're playing Texas Hold'em. What's a Texas Hold'em? <laughs> okay. Okay. Texas Hold'em is. Okay. Mike is explaining gambling here to you. This is how you win at poker. Okay. Um. There's usually five cards, right? It goes the first three cards, then two, then one. That is the community. Six cards. First three, then two, then one. No, no, no. Yeah, first three, then one, then one. So there's five community cards on the table. Right. And you have two in your hand. Okay. So you try and make the best poker hand with the two in your hand and the best three out, out of the community. So the commu- community one. Why Why does it go three, then to one, then to one? Because after the three, then you bet more, and then one, then you bet more, and then one, then you bet more. I still have no, no I still have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, okay. In, in layman's terms, yes, that you have that, that you're saying that you have a good hand, but you have it also have a good hand. I have. What am I saying? I have. You like like you're putting down your money. Yes. For saying that you have a good hand. Yes. But you're not bluffing about it. You're saying that you actually have a good hand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that... That's not manipulative, though. No, no. it's not. Okay. That's being honest. Yeah, it's being honest. Therefore, you're not bluffing. Not bluffing. No, I don't mm. bluff, really. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't make threats. I make promises. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> You're probably one of the least one of the least manip- manipulative person I know. Um, <laughs> I would say that you are. Um, I am less manipulative than you. Yeah. Wow. Um, must be really naive. <laughs> I mean, well, well, it's <laughs> it's it, it's honesty beyond honesty. Me. 
Oh no, yeah, yeah, the difference between you and me is you're way more honest. Yeah. You're way more blunt. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I'm sort of like, I'll be honest, but I'll say it in a nice way. Whereas I'm like, this is what it is. Yeah. You're an arsehole. There's no other way to say it. Because, the reason why I do it, it's because easing people gently... Yeah. Makes you um, be respected always, even though you're giving your honest opinion. Yeah. Um, and for you, you don't care. Yeah. You can you can lose friends by being that blunt. Yeah. And you don't care. Because like, what's the use of what's the use of telling lies and not handling the truth? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so 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 so, are you saying that I am white truthing? You, I mean, I don't get the point of white lies sometimes. Like, just get to the point. Yeah, I know, but am I white truthing? What does that mean? That I'm saying the truth in a nice way? Yes, you are. Yeah, see? Mm. So, 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 you see? But see, over there, there has a component of lies to it, though. <laughs> I, I, I see why you brought that up. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's like you're telling the tr- yeah, you you are telling the truth. Just not in the most truthful way. Yeah, but, but that's what I do. Mm. I tell the truth, but in a truth, yeah. That's probably my, that's probably, that's probably due to my autism anyway, so. Yeah, because, <sighs> like, like, people come to me for advice. Yeah. And no matter what, I am white truthing them. Yeah. I always <laughs> telling the to... Telling the truth, telling the nasty truth in the nicest possible way. Yeah. Whereas I just say the nasty truth. Yes. And that's why I don't have many friends. Yes. <laughs> because people can't handle it. Yes. And, and, and yet, I have a even spectrum of friends, even though I don't consider them to be friends. <laughs> They're just your acquaintances, your family yeah. acquaintances. Yeah. yeah. What I consider to be a friend and what they consider to be a friend... Totally completely different things. Yeah. Am I a friend then? Um This is this is a very public question. You may edit it out if you wish. Chatham House rules. No 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 no. No 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 no. No. I'm I am i am gonna leave this in. Yes. I do consider you to be a friend. Thank you. Yay! Alright, shall we end it there? Hey! Yeah, I see it. No, it's fine, I'll carry it. <laughs> yeah, fine. I'll carry it. Now, should I wrap it up? Yep, wrap it up. Because I can't wrap? Yeah. This has been the As Yet Undecided podcast with your convicted hosts, Mike and Sophie. You can find us on various social media at AYU Podcast, or you can email us on As Yet Undecided Podcast at gmail.com. As for you, Mike? You can contact me on Bung I on Instagram. No, kidding. Um, the man is T-H-E-M-A-R-N-U-S. By the way, you have no idea how to change your um, SoundCloud username right to the Manus. No. Your Michael, your Michael Canara on, on SoundCloud. Okay, that's fine. That's hilarious. Yeah, because it's probably... Okay, it's because it's linked to the, my Facebook profile. Yeah. You that's can, why. You can change your username on your SoundCloud. That's okay. Um, I'm Sophie9709 on all platforms, including SoundCloud, apart from Instagram, because some Russian stole f- Sophie stole it. Yeah, and, and and the only reason why 9709, yeah, and, and it is not Sophie's pin number. It's it, it's because of her date of birth. It's my year and it's my month. Yeah. Yeah. And um. Next week's podcast may be a little bit late. Hopefully not. Nah. Nah, um, next week's podcast will still be on a Wednesday. I mean, not on a Friday, but you, editing's going to take a little while? Uh, no, because it's Queen's birthday, so I don't know. Next Friday? I thought we still have class next Friday, right? Yeah, we do. Yeah? But just making sure. It may, it may, it may be a little late on our front. But um, True. It'll, it'll still be there. Okay. Stay safe, guys. Don't get cold. Don't get wet. And do watch the passive aggression of the Christ. It looks very funny. Okay. It's fine! I'll carry it! No, it's fine. I'll stop it. Stop it! Stop it!